Hi there everybody, how's it going? I hope you're all doing very well indeed. This is myself, Matty Tomato, and welcome to rounds 15 and 16 of the Toka Touring Car Championship here, PS1 style, with the Vauxhall Vectra, and we're at Knock Hill. Uh, I know nothing about this circuit. This is our only visit to Scotland this season. Oh, it's Scotland? Really? Oh, I didn't know that. There you go. Okay, Knock Hill. Let's see what this circuit's made of then. Looks pretty narrow. Uh, but let's let's see. Let's have a let's have a look. Okay, so looks like a very long start finish straight. Okay, as we're given control here. Oh, wowzer! Okay, uh, maybe I shouldn't go bombing around here like a lunatic. Okay, that's quite a tight bend. Um, I was lucky I was going a bit slower because of the... Oh, wow. Okay, right. Uh, I was going a bit slower because I already screwed up. That's not too bad. I can tackle that one okay. Um... This is a hairpin, isn't it? Oh. Doing all hate a hairpin. Right. Uh, I think this is the start of the lap again. Okay, so... Not too bad. Okay, there's nothing too exciting about the circuit itself. I will say that. Um, this is nasty as fuck, though, this. Wow. Because that is hidden away there, and it does not drop. Okay, right. I took that at 60, and I just about made it. Holy hell. I reckon this. Uh, these bends are really tight. So, I reckon... Um, in the race, these bends are going to be horrible because there's going to be lots of cars going around them and it's going to be very difficult to pass. Okay. I got completely put off by that Honda. Ugh. God's sake. Okay. So, again, uh, Need to get a better lap. I need to work on the final lap, basically, because rubbish time. Very snappy that one. Okay, that's better. I reckon if you slow down into that one, it's okay. You've got to get right round that one as well. Jesus. Okay. Okay, I can do that at 90, that's okay, but again, you've got to snap it. it. They're very snappy bends, so, yeah, no no kind bends here. Uh, more traffic. Again, it's the Peugeot and the Ford. It's just one of them funny scripts, I think. Okay, it's going to be about 52 seconds, I think. Uh, 51, all right, I don't know how good that is. Rubbish, probably. Uh, no, the fastest is 49, so uh, seventh place then. Okay, so 49 is what we're looking for. All right, okay, so we only need six points at this venue, so I think, yeah, we might be past the point where we're threatened with not going any further. Oh, bad start. Uh, I think we're past that point. Uh, it's more to do with can we stick with the front two Renaults, basically, and can we make up any ground on them? I've already gone into a spin. Barely even bloody started, and I've already gone into a spin. Oh, my God. Okay, right! We might as well have just started from the back of the grid. Oh, I forgot about that as well. I just forgot about it. Oh, get out of the way. Slow coach. Jesus. Oh, my God. Can't believe how badly I'm doing here. Right, okay. This, this is exactly what I thought was going to happen, to be quite honest getting stuck in amongst loads of cars because I copped something up somewhere 
And the problem is, because I'm stuck in amongst all this lot, I can't turn the manoeuvres properly, I can't make the bends properly. And I just end up ploughing into more people and fucking it up even more. Get out of the way, Mr. Ford. Right. Okay, the Volvo's actually not doing very well in this race, which is quite interesting. Just about made that. Wow. Right, 11 laps though. So I feel like there's a bit more time here to sort sort out whatever you get wrong. It was okay. In fact, I've stolen a march on all of these guys here. Yeah, and it's caused me to just spin out. That's the problem. I try and get through them because I'm clearly faster. Oh my god. I can't believe it. Well, that's my race over. I've just been wiped out by a Volvo. That's the race over. I'm nowhere near the front now, and I never will be in this race. Holy hell. That's the issue, though. I try going through them. I'm clearly faster, and I end up just making some silly manoeuvre. Which causes me to just go off. Oh, man. Jesus Christ. Every car I come across is a threat to me spinning out. Ugh. Oh. I think that is a solution to that one though Break really hard going into it and then accelerate halfway around oh, I nearly lost it there as well <laughs> oh man every time I hit somebody like that I think I'm going to go with them or they're going to spin and they're going to take me out as well or something like that ok 8th Peugeot is next yeah that's definitely the solution there and I'm able to get a quick exit as well so I think that's what I'm going to do from now on. Peg it down that area and then get a late break in. Oh dear, nearly went flying there as well, but managed to fix it. I didn't trust where that Volvo was. I thought he was going to come careering into the side of me, so I just slowed down. Didn't trust it at all. Uh, halfway through the race, though. And I've made quite a bit of ground up. Considering I was 16th, I was last. Five laps to fix what happened. Yes, yeah, so I took a little bit too far that time. Because the I wanted to get past the Audi. But in doing so, I cocked it up. So, um, Okay. Lesson learned. Don't always do it. Especially if there's a car on the inside. Trying to do it that way doesn't work. I've got a lot of speed on everybody in that first section though. There's, uh, for some reason I'm a lot quicker than everybody else in that first section of the lap. I've had to brake there because the Honda would have taken me out. But instead I've just sent him off. But in doing so I've allowed the Audi to catch me up. Okay, right, there's a Renault up ahead. Ah, we're making good ground here. This is this is uh 
We're doing all right here. I'm trying to work out the optimum spot to actually break. Like in real life, that'd absolutely stuff your brakes doing that. But I'm right in the slipstream of this Renault now. Oh, I tried going that way. I was clearly faster. I was going to send him off, to be honest. But in doing so, I nearly screwed myself over. Very nearly screwed myself over in doing that. Right. Six seconds is the gap. Don't know. I've got three, well, two and a half laps to catch it up. Down to five and a half. Okay. And that was when I cocked up as well. Maybe I've got a chance here. There you are. Right, I've worked out the optimum spot to slam on the brakes. And funnily enough, it's right where the 100 board is. So that's kind of helpful. As long as that board doesn't get destroyed, I know exactly where I've got to slam on the brakes. Oh, we're coming up to lap some people as well, which may be problematic for the Renault, which means it might actually help me. Nah, he's got past the Peugeot really easily there. That's annoying. Peugeot's going to have another bite. Of I think actually it did slow him down enough because all of a sudden out of nowhere I've caught him up. And once again, it's me versus the Renault. Ooh, he took a very slow approach to that. Goodbye, son. That was a very cautious approach. I've sent him right out onto the gravel. And remarkably, absolutely ludicrously, from last place, I've managed to come up and I'm in first. I really thought this race was gone. This is, this is alright, this circuit, though. I'm starting to adapt to it fairly quickly. There's a lot of snappy bends. And I think, funnily enough, I'm actually okay with snappy bends. Lapping people like nobody's business here as well. I'm alright with these snappy bends. I'm able to, to take them in. And I think because I'm, because I'm naturally a bit more aggressive on the joystick, I think snappy bends actually suits me. Oh, no, it's there. actually suits me a lot more because I'm naturally I'm a little bit snappier on the joystick so the fact that I'm actually forced to make those types of bends here I mean at the end of the day if I'm taken out by my own flipping teammate then that's not going to be great is it I mean I say that I did just absolutely smash into the back of him so I suppose it wasn't really his fault, but then he's being lapped, so he should just get out of the way. Yeah, snappy bends, I'm alright with. So although this circuit appeared a little bit troublesome to start with... ...actually proved to be fairly okay, and I think that's what's allowed me to make up so much time. And, uh, uh, remarkably, we're going to take the victory there. Wowzer. Gee whiz. That is incredible. Absolutely incredible. 11 seconds in the end. I'm going to jump straight into the next round. Right. And normally I leave a gap there, but I'm going to jump straight into this. Because I've got a bit of high confidence right now. So, let's not lose it. Right, let's see if we can actually string together a blinder of a lap here. I don't know. Ooh, nearly lost it there. Okay. Right, the pole, I think, was 49, wasn't it? 
Okay. So we're not all that far off there. Well, I veered off there, so I've blown this one, I think. But I managed to recover it somehow. But uh, yeah, I think I've blown this uh, this chance. Far behind the time. Oh, I was actually possibly on for it there. Because uh, I was only about two tenths of a second slower than my first lap going into that bit. When I thought I'd blown it with the grass verge. But actually, I probably was in with a shout of doing it there. Right, let's just try and take this. Yeah, take that nice and clean. So that we can get a really good run up to the uh, start finish to try another one. 50 seconds is still pretty good, though. Still fairly happy with that. Oh, there's traffic up ahead now, though. I mean, I'm on a flying lap, and the Honda's just got straight in the way there. So... Oh, you wanker! Oh, my God. The Honda strikes again. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. I really, I mean, I haven't actually done it, but I really want to wipe out one of these Hondas. Like, actually wipe them out. But I'm tempted to just catch up to this guy now. I mean, it's not going to do anything because I'm qualifying, but... <laughs> oh, man, I can't believe that. <laughs> It does nothing because it's in qualifying and the, you, don't, you never know how many laps they get. They probably don't get three laps. Like, they just get a random time assigned. But... Oh, my God. Ridiculous. Uh, seventh place in the end. Yeah, we're literally just uh, just under two seconds off. So, not that much. But, ah. Right. Okay. So, I'm brimming the confidence uh, with this one. Because... I know that we can fall behind in this and we can still catch up. But I don't want to fall behind. I just want to get... Oh, I've done it again. I've done it again. I have actually done it again. We're going to have to do it again, Pete. We're going to have to come back from the back again. Oh, my God. Cannot believe it. God's sake. Can lightning strike twice, though? I think it can. So let's see. we got to mount another ludicrous comeback here. God's sake. I mean, I'm perfectly okay with that because it just slowed me down naturally by being right in the back of that car. So shoving my knob up his ass it's actually helped me out I'm going to go around the outside of the Nissan yeah that nearly ended up in a bit of disaster but oh there's my teammate but sorry bud not like you've been any assistance to me at all in this thing nearly lost it there Ooh! that was poor that was honestly really, really bad. Give me a push. Oh, I was hoping the four would come up behind me and give me a push. Ugh. I think it was about lap three when we fell into last place last time, though. Oh, I broke too late, broke too late, broke too late. Luckily, the Ford was actually there, and I did end up hitting him a little bit, and it was enough to slow me down, but I think that sign has been wiped out, the, the 100 sign, so going to have to just time it now. Right, remarkably, that didn't actually... Oh, I was just going to say, remarkably, that didn't end in disaster, but it has, so... Oh, my God. Right, we've shown that five seconds is nothing. 
The Renault was ahead by seven seconds, I seem to remember. Like when we got into second place and the Renault was about seven seconds ahead. And we've shown that we can catch that up. And we have time. That's one of the other things I like about this one is there's a, li there's a few more laps. Oh, for God's sake. The problem is I'm now making stupid mistakes. And the, that's the thing, because I've gotten used to that sign being there. And because it's been wiped out, I keep forgetting when to break. quicker there. Easy pass there. Ooh, nearly lost it there. And it, yeah, it meant I took it took it a lot slower. Which wasn't great. Right, I need to time this now though. Ah, the hundred sign is actually there. It's the two hundred one that's gone. And I think that's what was confusing me was I was seeing the first one thinking that was the two hundred. And so I'm going far too quick when I'm approaching. Okay, right. Figured that out now. Right. There's still time. Right. Both Nissans are here. I've just actually helped that guy out there because he was spinning and I've directed him back into the track. <laughs> Okay, there's definitely still time. Half the race is up. Eight. And there's a lot of people here as well, which is kind of good. So that's three places made up right there in one corner. Okay, good. It's on. I think this is on. As long as I don't cock up again. I was bracing myself for a warning there, but... Right, here's the two Renaults. Which is, oh no, that's an Audi. The, there's a Renault in front of me and then there's an Audi. I'm taking these bends so much quicker than anybody else. When I'm getting them right, I'm nailing them. That was a brilliant manoeuvre. Right, we've got six and a half seconds. But we've got five laps, or four and a half. When I get those bends right in the middle of the lap, no one is taking them faster than I am. Four seconds. Just took a little bit more caution through that one. Oh no. Are you kidding me? Luckily, that's only about a 70 mile an hour bend, so you don't lose too much uh, by messing that one up. Right, it's back up to seven though, and I nearly caught that up. Jesus. Okay, come on. 5.9. Yeah, I wasn't going as fast because I hit the grass verge, so I could break a bit later. But the downside is I probably lost time. 5.9 last check 5.1 okay so we still have actually gained a little bit of time there right we can see him again three or 3.8 rather Okay, yeah, I can see him now, though. That's the important thing. And there's a Peugeot. Which completely fucked up my bend. Jesus, the Renault managed to make it past him before the hairpin, but I couldn't. But I can still see him, so we'll have lost a tiny bit of ground, but not much, because I can still see him.
gained on him massively now. I think, he, yeah, he did a bad job there. <laughs> oh, that was a bit cheeky. <laughs> that was very deliberate. <laughs> Oh, man, that was so cheeky. Really bad. And the funny thing is, you don't get dangerous driving warnings for that. And yet, if you rear-end somebody... <laughs> man. But once again... Cocked up the first lap. Ended up in last. And we're once again back in first. Ridiculous. Messed that up, but... I think I've got enough of a lead here that that didn't matter because that bloke is probably still been recovering from that bloody spin out that he had on the gravel. He spun out on the gravel as well, so he would have taken quite a while to recover from that. So I'm imagining I've actually got rather a good lead here. see anybody can't even see the Renault on the other side so yeah I think we've got quite a good lead here as we go into the last lap now there are a few cars here so I've got to be a bit careful just dodge them out of the way if I can but the other thing is I don't want them to send me up there's my teammate I'll try and leave him alone if I can imagine if he comes right back at me and rear ends me and sends me into a spin <laughs> That's a very slow Ford. Wow. Put me off a bit. Didn't realise he was going to be going that slow. Not that it has mattered, because I think we've done this again twice at this same circuit. We've come back from being last to winning the race, and it's put us in a really good spot. In terms of the championship, for sure. Huge, huge couple of victories that. Good circuit as well, I like it. So it's fairly simple, but it's good enough that, you know, the snappy turns actually suited my sort of style of racing. So, actually helped significantly. So, uh, I'm imagining that we're fairly in the thick of it again. Yeah, we're 12 points behind now. Whereas we were at 1.23, so we have caught up significantly. It's whether we can maintain the rhythm, that's the thing. Uh, don't know whether we're going to be able to do that. But that's it for now then, so cheers for watching, guys. This has been myself, Matt Tomato. Be sure to subscribe to follow the series. And join me next time for more Toga Touring Car Championship here with, my, with the Vauxhall Vectra team.